what we're going to be looking at here are warranty or product guarantees here and really there's two basic methods that we use here to account for warranties. Number one would be the cash basis method that's where you charge the warranty cost to the period in which it complies to the warranty here and number two you can use the accrual basis method this is where you charge the warranty cost to the operating expense in the year of the sale here of the product here. And when you're using this accrual basis method you have two choices here. You can use the expense warranty approach. That's where the warranty is included in the product cost or a uh, second uh, choice here would be the sales warranty approach here. That's where the warranty is sold separately here from the product cost. And this is where you're going to defer revenue on the sale here of the warranty itself. So what we're going to be going through here is just a simple example. And we're going to be looking at the, uh, comparing the accrual basis here, uh, looking at the expense versus the sales warranty approach. So for our example here that we're going to use, we have this office equipment company and they sold 500 printers here during 20x1 at $12,000 each again and during 20x1 the company spent $60,000 here servicing a two-year warranty that are included here on these printers but we're going to be looking at both here selling this warranty separately as a sale warranty approach and then also where this two-year warranty would be included in the purchase price here of the uh, product here. So let's start out with our expense warranty approach. Now uh, we estimate the total costs of servicing the warranties here at $240,000. That's for the two years here of the warranty. So it's going to be like $400 a printer here. Okay so with this service warranty approach the warranty is included in the product cost. So the first thing we'd have to do here and we're going to look at how we'd record this this the sales here on this warranty. So um, total cost or total sales would be the $12,000 here per unit of the printers times 500 printers sold. So we have $6 million worth of sales here in 20x1 here. We'll look at it in uh, 20x1 will be the first year, 20x2 will be the second year here. So what we would do is we'd record here cash or accounts receivable on these printer sales here on the balance sheet. Total amount, six debit hit for $6 million. That's our total sales here. And the Warranty is included in the sales price here of this of these printers here, and then uh, our debit our credit amount here would go to sales revenue here in a printer sales on our income statement for six million dollars. Okay, so now with this expense warranty approach, we have to determine our warranty expense here, and we have to divide it up between this two years of warranty. So remember, we were told that the warranty costs here for the first year of 20x1 were $60,000 here. So what we would do here, uh, at the end of 20x1, we would record our warranty costs here, uh, and I'm showing here that on our balance sheet we would have a cash inventory accrued payable that's really parts and service here on these printers of warranty parts and service we would credit that or reduce our uh, our cash or the parts and service we on our inventory here uh, for uh, sixty thousand dollars those are the warrant costs warranty costs here for 20x1 credit that for sixty thousand and then we move over to our income statement here for our warranty expense we debit it here for sixty thousand dollars okay so what we have to do is we have to charge our warranty costs here in the year of the sale here 20x1 our year of the sale so what we would do is we look at the difference here that uh, the, the accrued estimate warranty cost here for 20x1 would be what's remaining here we have the $240,000 total cost here for the two years less the $60,000 cost for the first year here live, gives us a remaining amount here of $80,000 that's accrued here on our warranty cost. So we would debit our warranty expense for the remaining amount here $180,000. So we've accounted for our total warranty cost here of $60,000 plus $180,000 equals $240,000. Now what we would have done here we set up this warranty liability here on our printers on our balance sheet here. On 20x1, uh, we would have set that up here for $180,000. We actually we knew what our actual expense was for the year here at $60,000, but the $180,000 represents what's remaining here in our warranty costs in the future here for again 
uh, for 20x for 20x1 we would recognize it here as a liability 240,000 minus 60,000 gives us $180,000 here so that's what we have here on 20x1 remember set up this warrant warranty liability and that's what's remaining on your warranty costs since you re recognize the first year's cost here you knew what those were here 60,000 so you set up the remaining amount here goes to a warranty liability of $180,000 now let's look at 20x2 here um, and this is where we would recognize here the uh, reduce our warranty liability because the remaining amount here of that warranty uh, cost here of $180,000 here would be recognized here in 20x2. So what we do is we credit or we debit out our warranty liability by $180,000, reducing it here to zero at this point here, and then we'd recognize it here as a reduction here in our inventory and cash and inventory account and uh, parts and labor here on this uh, on this warranty for 20x2 here you'd credit that here for $180,000 so we've accounted for our total warranty costs here of $240,000 see uh, this $180,000 that's the warranty cost here in 20x2 on the 20x1 sales okay so we've taken care of this where the warranty is included here in the product cost now let's go over and look at our other approach here say our sales warranty approach here this is the the other um, accrual basis method that we have here so let's assume that of the sales total of six million dollars same, same as example as we have used before here but we're going to be selling this warranty separate from the product cost except so our total sales here for six million dollars and three hundred and twenty thousand of those six million dollar sales relates to the sales warranty contracts those are those uh, warranty contracts that were sold here on this product here. And you estimate the total cost of servicing the warranties will be two hundred and forty thousand dollars, same as we had in our previous our under our um, expense warranty approach here and again for two years here in a warranty so you estimate the revenues earned on the basis of the cost incurred that's how we're going to allocate the uh, rev unearned revenues here on the three hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of uh, warranty uh, warranty contracts that we sold here and uh, so the estimate the revenues earned on the basis of the costs incurred and the estimated cost we'll see what that we'll look at how we do, do that here so 20x1 we spent sixty thousand thousand dollars servicing warranty same as before here so what we would do here is we this is where the warranty is sold is is separately here from our product cost so what we have to determine here is what our sales revenue would be for the period here so uh, just for our example again we had twelve thousand here per uh, printer here times five hundred printers sold but in this case just for our example we're going to sub that that uh, total cost here included those war that warranty contract here on these printers. So we have to subtract that out from our total cost here, and we're going to come up with well, that was three hundred thousand, three hundred and twenty thousand dollars here for our warranty contracts that were sold. So our total uh, re uh, sales revenue here on the printers alone was five million six hundred eighty thousand dollars, and that was for the sales here in twenty X one. So we credit our sales revenue here on the income statement for five million six hundred eighty thousand dollars. Now, the other amounts that would be recognized here at that sales date here, of course, we would have had for cash or accounts receivable on our printer sales on our balance sheet, we would have debit that here for the total $6 million worth here. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up this unearned revenue account here for these warranty, uh, warranty contracts that are sold on our balance sheet here. This becomes a liability here on our balance sheet. So again, when this contract or when we made the sales here in 20X1, we would have credited the this unearned revenue account for these uh, those warranty contracts is sold here for three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Okay, so we've accounted for here at the time of the sales six million totally received. Three hundred and twenty thousand of that was going to these warranty contracts here as unearned revenues or liabilities on our balance sheet, and then the sales revenue on the printers themselves here on our income statement was five million six hundred eighty thousand dollars. Okay, and we're only going to look at one year here. And we're just going to look at 20x1. So what we would do here, again, we had our warranty. Let's just look at our warranty costs 
here for 20x1 here again same as before here on our balance sheet for our parts and labor and so forth we're just calling cash inventory accrued payrolls and that we would credit that here for those warranty costs incurred here 20x1 here of $60,000 and then over on our income statement here we would recognize our warranty expense here for the actual cost that we had for the year here $60,000 and 20x1 okay so now what we have here is we have to deal with these unearned revenues what revenue did we actually earn uh, earn here on uh, for 20x1 We're just looking at 20x1 here so and we would recognize that here as warranty revenue here on our income statement for those warranty sales so this is how we would do it and in this case we just take our total uh, warranty contracts here of three hundred and twenty thousand dollars that's the sale price here of our warranty contracts times and in this case where this is where we talked about that ratio that we're using and our the basis here was a cost incurred uh, sixty thousand dollars here for the year here uh, and we have to look at the total estimated cost of the warranty here so uh, two hundred and forty thousand dollars was the total estimated cost of the warranty here and you take that fractional amount times your total sales price of the warranty is three hundred twenty thousand and you're going to come up with eighty thousand dollars here so that for 20x1 at the end of the year here we re we um, record here our warranty revenue here on the uh, warranty contract sold here credit that here for eighty thousand dollars here simple enough here and then what we would do here again at the end of the year here in 20x1 this unearned revenue we would reduce that here by eighty thousand dollars here for our our unearned revenue here on these warranty contracts so so we would debit that here for eighty thousand dollars and then we would be actually recognized as revenue earned here on our income statement here by eighty thousand dollars so here this unearned revenue account here is a liability account here and this we recognize here as warranty revenue when it's earned based on that uh, our formula here basis of the costs incurred divided by the total cost of the warranty times our sales price here so we're just looked at year 20x1 here so for 20x2 here we have still have this unearned revenue that remains here the 300 and 20,000 total uh, sales here on those warranty contracts less the uh, warranty revenue recognized here for the first year of $80,000 gives us $240,000 this is a de deferred warranty revenue that still remains here so if we go back here for 20x2 here you would just have to plug in uh, your new numbers here let's just say uh, whatever the cost here was for the year here divided by the total amount so our costs would have been uh, like 60,000 well it would have been it comes out to $180,000 here divided by 240,000 so you would if you would actually have those costs then you would just be plugging them in here and de uh, calculating your warranty revenue here uh, for the year the remaining warranty revenue of uh, let's just say we had the $380,000 so whatever the remaining amount would be in for warranty revenue here for the second year here and then we'd also be debiting or reducing our unearned revenue here our liability on our balance sheet here all right so you can see here when the warranty is sold separately from the product cost you set up this unearned revenue here for the uh, warranty sales here and then you'd have to recognize warranty revenue for the period here based on whatever formula you're using here in this case we use the cost incurred over the cost of warranty times the total warranty uh, uh, contracts received for the warranty here so you can see the basic differences here so let's just go back to our other example here so our warranty included in the product cost you set up this warranty liability account here and you've seen that here you take the warranty cost in this case you charge the total warranty for uh, that you included in the product here you charge it here the, for the cost for the first year of the sale here and then you just have to divide it up between your warranty periods here for the first period whatever your warranty expenses for the first year whatever your warranty expenses were and for the second year whatever your warranty expenses were you would uh, recognize it as a cost here on your income or expense on your income statement and then you would have set it up a liability account here a warranty liability account here for whatever is remaining here on your warranties you recognize the first year uh, 
whatever the expense was here and you reduce your costs over here on your uh, labor and materials cost here on your income on your balance sheet here and then the remaining amount goes into the warranty liability not to confuse things but that's how we with the difference here between these two different approaches here with the uh, expense approach versus the sales warranty approach